This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% on everything on the website. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. CardMarket is a European platform where you're able to buy as well as sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG to help support the channel. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. Want to create your own custom playmat? There's only one address. Go check out YourPlayMat.com by clicking the link down below. You'll get 10% off your order. They ship worldwide, so start creating your own custom playmat. Last but not least is Dragon Shield. DragonShield.com is, of course, the affiliate link down below in the description. You're going to be able to buy sleeves, deck boxes, as well as binders, and Dragon Shield is the best brand to help protect your cards and keep them safe from any scratches whatsoever. They are the best quality sleeves around so uh yeah i'm a, a big fan so uh thanks for sticking around with the commercials let's get it going What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be checking out Lucario V Star that actually won the Joint Villa Regional, so that's gonna be fantastic. First of all, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get daily Pokemon TCG content on here that you don't wanna miss out on. And uh, today, it is actually going to be the first place winning list of the Joint Villa Regionals. Pedro Pertusi won that Regionals with Lucario V Star, and that's fantastic to see. We have Fighting Knuckle, 120 damage, and if the opponent is a V, 120 more damage. You can get this off easily with Raihan and DTE. So uh, that's going to be your main way you can set up uh, Lucario. You could also utilize the Trinity Nova to put energies onto it. Arceus seems to be everywhere and winning almost every event because it's just that versatile with Star Birth and setting up Pokemon with Trinity Nova as well. Crobat VMAX is your answer against Mew VMAX on top of the high amount of Marnie and Pad to the peak. Put a big charm onto Crobat VMAX and slap it around. You also could utilize the Stealth Poison against Rapid Strike Malamar because you have so many one price Pokemon in here. Manaphy protecting your bench, Dunsparce protecting your weakness uh, of Arceus and we have Bibaral to draw cards. On top of that, there's the Zigzagoon, which allows you to slip for, slap for 220 early on because of the high amount of boss and, of course, the Choice Belt being in here as well. So uh, we're going to be trying this list out. This actually won the uh, Joyville Regionals, and uh, Hoopa is in here for, of course, the Rap Strike Urshifu on top of the Manaphy. So having a little bit of answers against everything. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this list will work. If you guys are excited for Lucario, be sure to slap that fighting knuckle onto the like button because it helps support the channel so much and it only takes one second of your time. Looks like we're gonna be up against Mew V Max. Mew V Max is one of those decks that uh, we really need Crobat for, so we'll see how it goes. I think you always wanna go first because that means you can get an energy onto your Arceus, so hopefully we'll find uh, some way to do that. We have Bidoof. I think I wanna start with a one price Pokemon first. Seems like the best thing to do here. Yes, I think so. We can already attach an energy to the Crobat. That's an option. I think I'll just uh, Arceus, DTE. We won't need our fighting type energies, that's for sure. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Maybe setting ourselves up with another Bidoof because drawing, uh, of course, cards is good. Crobat VMAX is in there. Is the Big Charm in here? Uh, the Big Charm is in here as well. And we see three copies of Marnie, uh, two Pat to the Peak. So that's what we are gonna be needing next turn. Marnie, Pat to the Peak. So for now, Bidoof, Crobat, and let's go. Let's get our adventure started. Uh, we have Pat to the Peak already. Slapping it down turn one could indicate that we win the game. Let's do that. And maybe he whiffs everything. Let's go. Okay, two Bidoof in the active slot. We do have Marnie available to us, and we have access to the Star Birth if the Stadium card gets overlapped. But not the end of the world. They're going to be utilizing their first. It has Stadium in hand, unfortunately. Maybe we should have waited until we had like Marnie Pat to the Peak, but. Right now, I'm glad the first stadium is bumped. That means we can uh, having access to the Arceus V-Star here. He's gonna switch over to Genesect. Switching over to Genesect again. Okay, that's two switches down the drain. A power tablet as well. Choice belt and just drawing two cards with the Rose Tower. We'll see what else they are able to grab here. Fog Crystal finding Mew. Uh, our biggest concern is actually evolving Crobat because we really need Crobat VMAX in this matchup. UV Max is one of the more dominant decks in the format because they're just so powerful and so quick. The cool thing is that they already wasted down on two tablets. That means if we evolve into Crobat V Max and knock out this Meloetta, they're gonna be there's gonna be a, a chance that the opponent does not. Okay, I'm expecting a Lassa Sparkle right now with uh, the Chromatic. 
So as I was saying, uh, with all these modifiers being gone, our Crobat VMAX will definitely survive a hit, so we don't have to worry about it, unless the opponent has tablet, tablet, choice belts, onto Mew VMAX, we, sh we should be alright. Definitely if we have the big charm, we will survive hits like nothing you've ever seen before. Okay, let's see here, two tablets and a choice belt, adds it all the way up to 300 damage output, so uh, a big charm on the Arcus V-Star is also a way we could survive technically. But Arcus V-Star uh, v is not able to uh, KO Mew Max. We do have a boss's orders here, so technically if we do top deck like uh, Arcus V-Star we could still boss up this Mew. Which could be a great thing, we'll see what happens though. Rotom phone on top of it, they literally have everything, they cannot complain. The only bad thing for them is that they have wasted down on two tablets and the damage modifiers are huge in this matchup for sure. Okay, there's the Melodus Echo, we don't care about that in the slightest. The only thing we need to concern ourselves about is setting up Crobat VMAX. Let's go. Lucario literally doing nothing for us here. Uh, attachment there. And Marnie, I would have wished we would have done uh, something else, but we could have not empty our hand here. But there's an... Uh... Okay, we're gonna have to go for another way to do it. So, uh, quick ball, get rid of this. Another Crobat, unfortunately. We could Big Charm... Well, he's definitely gonna be gusting us up, right? If we put the Big Charm here, he might have issues, but I think there's no boss's orders in here. He will definitely boss's orders us. Yeah, I don't want to slap down all these two prizers, but I guess we have no choice here. Galarian Zigzag, not what I want to see here. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. And a DTE. I probably won't need another DTE ever again. Let's go with Arcus V Star. Arcus V Star in the house. Let's go for Star Birth while we're at it. Slap down. I really want Crobat V Max and I want Pat to the peak here. Saving my Crobat V Max is the most important factor in this matchup. Let's grab them. Crobat VMAX, he could still boss this Crobat and then have some uh, echoing horn plays as well. Slapping this down, let's go, Trinity Nova, and our Crobat is protected, we have that big charm equipped it, we can set himself up instantly, and if he ever wants to attack with Mew, uh, Mew VMAX, we have a Crobat which can easily one hit KO the Mew, so we are in a good position. Unless he like uh, psychic leaps onto a Bidoof or whatever. We should be alright. This list is also not running Ordinary Rod, so uh, we had to slap down Crobat to draw into what we needed. Path to the Peak is also slapped down. One Rose Tower in there as well. One Kramamatic, so Kramamatic Tails. They have everything. Like, even with Mew having everything, that's just fine because I want to just make sure, showcase that this list has options to beat Mew VMAX, even if they have everything. We can slap down our entire uh, bench full of one prize Pokemon. Do we have enough one prize Pokemon remaining though? We have Pumpkaboo. Uh, did they have a stadium card that they utilized? Is that another Switch? Three copies of Switch. And two DTEs. We could trap Genesex as well. They could Psychic Leap onto Crobat. <laughs> but <laughs> what are they gonna do? Path to the Peak is in play. What are we gonna do now? Because that means, yeah, uh, this Arcus is actually not able to KO. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what they were doing, but Path to the Peak was in play and Crobat Max was uh, never gonna be able to get KO because of that fantastic big charm. So now I understand the uh, the the build of this specific deck. Of course, with Crobat VMAX and Big Charm and a high amount of Path to the Peak, you will be able to win a ton of games. And you have, of course, Lucario being able to slap for weakness against fighting weak Pokemon. For instance, Arceus, Jolteon, Gengar. So lots of decks in the format. Yeah. If you guys are enjoying yourself, you should let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It only takes one second. And uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, playing another game with Lucario VStar. Big shout out again to Pedro Pertusi for this uh, fantastic build, getting first place. Let's see what he actually came across. He uh, won against Mew twice, and then the top top four, he won against Mew, and then the finals, he also won against Mew. So, looks like this list pretty much wins against Mew. That's what it was.
because of so many one price Pokemon, I assume. So we have that Zigzagoon, we have that Pumpkaboo, we have that Manaphy. So, so many one price Pokemon in here that you most of the time start with a one price Pokemon. So, against Movie Max, that's very, very great. Starting again with a Crobat, Attachment, Arceus. So, great hand for sure, lots of capabilities. Okay, now we're gonna be showcasing how you can win against uh, Incase. So, uh, the thing I always specifically do here is. We don't use Arceus V-Star, although I want to be utilizing Arceus V-Star in this situation because they most of the time will not able to get a one-hit KO onto it. So I will get rid of Path to the Peak, which is bad in this matchup. I will get our good friend Arceus out of the list. Arceus V-Star is in here. Big Charm. Yeah, Big Charm is also in here. Perfect. Let's go. Slapping this down. Attachment of the turn. We could slap down Crobat already. Uh, yeah, we don't actually need anything else, I'm, and he's probably not going to be playing Marnie as well. So I'm actually just going to go for Arceus V-Star, so we already have that to work with. We're going to be slapping down uh, Crobat, so we can draw three cards. And then next turn we evolve this one, go for some crazy plays as well. We already have DTE. Fantastic. So uh, what you need against this matchup is Crobat V-Max, Arceus V-Star, and a whole heap of one prizers, and you go for Stealthy Poison time and time and time and time again. Okay, Brawly. I wonder if it's gonna be able to one hit KO our Arceus V Star here. Probably not if we're able to Marnie in this specific turn. Like, we Marnie, attack, and go for it. We also need to find a way to switch this Bidoof. And this list is running Scoop Up Net and Air Balloon, so that's fine. Should have checked if they were in there, those uh, options. Spitting attack for 20 damage. Ridiculous. Okay, we have Bibarel. We have Arceus V-Star, we have Ultra Ball, we're gonna get rid of so many Pokemon right there, so I'm actually gonna get rid of, rid of this. Uh, I really want a Marnie here, so I'm gonna get rid of the research. Finding ourselves, Crobat V-Maxa, let's go. Okay, switch out, so we have Scoop Up Net and even Air Balloon, could it be even better? Than this scenario. We have Crobat V Max. We have the DTE. We're gonna be drawing some cards with the Bibarel first. Let's go. Marnie. Marnie already. Could be Marnie them into Oblivion. They only have three cards. So I don't know what to expect here. Uh, maybe we Marnie next turn, right? So we start birth, find Air Balloon, and Big Charm. And we have Ultra Balls to get one price Pokemon down as well. Alright, let's get some tools up. Let's do this. We have the Air Balloon. Onto the Beebs. We have the Big Charm. Onto the Arceus. We will retreat. We won't need any of these other Pokemon. So I'm actually going to get rid of them right now. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Let's go. And let's get some one price Pokemon. And maybe another Beebs so we can draw more and more cards. I don't know... If they will be able to, uh, maybe they have Drizzle, Evolve, Bossasaurus, I don't think so. Let's slap this down. We could Marnie, but we're going to wait. So Trinity Nova. And we're going to be uh, tinning out our entire deck. Because we don't need to draw energies. These are the only things we need. And Crobat is ready for Stealth Poison, ladies and gentlemen. We could also like attach energies onto uh, a Bibarel engine. It's unfortunate that that attack is on a coin flip. So yeah. Uh, turn one, we have a very strong Arcus with 310 HP, forcing the opponent to have eight cards in hand. They do have a qu quite a number of Sobbles. Octillery as well. Octillery could find... Like, even if they Cynthia, they would need to find Energy Evolve and then play the Cynthia to find all the rest of the puzzle pieces. And if they draw into like another Cynthia or a card that is unplayable or not a Rapid Strike card, Arceus survives. And if Arceus survives, that's gonna be huge. Means we can now go for Stealth Poison time and time again and fetch them one prizers. They could already have like Escape Rope plays or maybe a Bosses Orders plays could be very detrimental for a deck like this, but I'm still scoop up net. Sobble Drizzle. <laughs> They're living on the edge right now. Like, even if they have everything and play down Cynthia, there might be an opportunity for them to get a non rap Strike card because this is the first Cynthia they played. They are still playing another Cynthia. 
They are still playing uh, Rescue Carrier, uh, what else? Ordinary Rod, there's a lot of like non-rapid strike cards. That, oh, they also need to stab down another Inke, so in this scenario they never one hit KO Arceus unless they have Scoop Up Net and get Octillery in hand and then get the KO as well. It, it, technically it is possible, but yeah, that is my main focus against this kind of a build. Evolution Incense. What can they do? Malamar, Octillery, like how many cards do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. They could still scoop this one up. Wrap Strike Tentacles. Do we survive the hit? Yeah, we most of the time will survive this first hit. So that is a strategy against Rapid Strike Malamar with uh, this specific build. And now we have free play, right? So um, hmm. I will just retreat into Crobat. We will give energy back to Crobat. Give a Choice Belt onto Bidoof for the memes of it. They probably ha saved something in hand. So I'm actually gonna Marty them into Oblivion. We can slap down on a, a Zigzagoon ping here and there. More one prizers in the house. Uh, Zigzagoon ping coming down on probably this one. We're gonna be drawing some more cards with the Industrious and Scissors. There we freaking go and let's go with Stealth Poison, the only way to beat Malamar. And now we just give up one prize Pokemon. First of all on the list is Zigzag. There we go. So uh, we have, or are initiating the prize race. We already taken two prize cards, and they will also always fall behind unless they have boss's orders. Yeah, next turn we try to do it again. We have so many one prizers in here that it's definitely possible to showcase this strategy. Also, something we showcased in the live stream that we did last weekend. They actually won against, uh, they lost against Sylveon, did win against Urshifu, of course with the Hoopa, win one twice against the Rolodon. okay, and then uh, the birds as well. But they actually redeemed themselves in uh, top 8 against Sylveon, so then they won against that list. Okay, there's a rope, take my Bidoof. Yeah, these rope plays will never work, we just have to slap down all of our one prize Pokemon and we should be alright. So a uh, big shout out again, Pedro Pertusi, getting a very, very nice regional win here. I wonder how many people were playing in uh, that regionals. There was a top eight. Huh, uh, Gustavo Wada actually was 15th. And there was, uh, of course, n was there only eight rounds? Yeah, I believe so, only eight rounds. Only eight rounds in that regionals. Makes me think there's there were not too many people there. Yeah, I don't know. How many people were playing in that regionals? Either way, it's a regional win. Winning against Mew Max and all the rest, so uh, very great. I don't know what the opponent is uh, actually uh, doing. But uh, we already have this uh, locked and loaded by fetching the one prizers. And even if they want to like quick shoot, if they are running quick shoot, we do run scoop up net to uh, prevent that. They're taking the first prize card with Rapid Strike Tentacles. There they go. Back to the Crobat. Always promote your free retreater, but in this situation it doesn't matter. Uh, attachment here. Evolution Incense. We might get to set up another Arceus here with a lot of HP. But I'm gonna f continue on with one prize Pokemon. Marnie time! Let's do this! Another one, prize Pokemon. Manaphy! Let's go! At this point, we might also slap down Arceus here. Doesn't matter. Because now we're gonna be able to draw more cards with the Industrious and Scissors. I'm gonna try to set this one up later. Okay, here comes Stealth Poison. KO and eat up my Zigzagoon. Although Zigzagoon, we could realize. Let's give them the Manaphy. <laughs> That's how you win against Rapstrike Malamar. I think Rapstrike Malamar is not too well positioned right now in today's format. 
because of the high amount of Avery, high amount of Arceus, and Arceus with big charm is too much to handle for uh, Malamar. Acrobat VMAX is also seeing more and more play. There's three NKs in the discard pile, so if they uh, see if there's like two uh, rescue carrier surprise or whatever, he might be in a, a very strange situation. Okay, Evolution and Sense, Shady Dealings in Talion. No, just a Drizzle. Next turn we get... I don't know if we should attach the DTE, although yeah, DTE is not bad here. DTE on Arceus. We could also Raihan. Do we need anything? I don't think so. Inke Inke. Yeah, they keep on that. Respect for the opponent for still continuing to play. Maybe they are playing a boss of that we are not aware of. Abstract Tentacles. Boom. Maybe they're ordinary rather surprised. That would be fantastic. Alright, DTE here. Uh, Ultra Bowling. I think the boss of are something we won't need, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Getting another one prizer up on board. It is Dunsparce this time around. Or we can actually get uh, Arceus V-Star again. Arceus V-Star. Quick Ball. Get rid of this. Oh, I could have utilized Raihan here. My bad. <laughs> it doesn't matter, to be honest. It doesn't matter at all. Industrious and Scissors. Let's go. And we even have the scoop up net. Stealth Poison. Yeah, here, take the zigzag. You have a good deck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I have a good deck. I have the winning list of the Joint Villa Regionals. Do they have Ordinary Rot? They need to find their last Malamar. Shady Dealings Ordinary Rot. No, Cynthia's Ambition. Just right from the get-go. Yeah, at one point you can also like Marnie them and then attack with a Crobat VMAX with 300 HP. But with a board sp uh, position like this with so many Pokemon in the discard pile and Rescue Carrier being a thing, it's just better to go for Stealth Poison time and time and time and time again. Do we even have enough energies left? Two of them, three of the spirals. Yeah, they would definitely need ordinary rot. Scooping up. Lots of scoop up action going around. Four scoop up nuts in the discard pile. Crazy. Crobat VMAX, your move. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else. Stealth poison. Giving up on um, Biberel if he might like not attack, we can still retreat. Only one prize card to take. So the opponent, what can they do to win? Evolve, attach, boss, and showcasing eight cards. <laughs> That's a whole heap without if they boss, they cannot draw cards, right? Maybe we should have duck for our last copy of Marnie, making it a little bit more difficult for the opponent. Ordinary Rot. Oh yeah, they also need to play Ordinary Rot because of all their Malamars being knocked out. Making it super hard to just pull this off. With the amount of cards in hand, I don't know if they're able to do it. All their scoop-up nets are gone as well. So, yeah, I don't think so. I would be surprised if he did play a boss of Zords and get everything to uh, work out. Even slapping down another Sobble here. Yeah, I think we have this in the back. Crobat VMAX. So we've showcased the power of Crobat VMAX twice already. And in this meta, Crobat VMAX is just perfect. Two cards with Karina. 
Rescue Carrier. Two NKs coming back. That's... One, two, three. Quick ball as well. Getting rid of another rope. So they are playing two ropes, which is ineffective against our strategy. Well played. You have a good deck. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Winning against Rapstrike Malamar. Winning against Mew Max. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Come on. One more for the road. What is going to be our last opponent of the day? Maybe an Arceus build, right? So we've so showcased that we were able to win with utilizing Stealth Poison, utilizing Max Cutter. Arceus is just strong by itself. Maybe Rapstrike Urshifu would also be nice to test uh, Hoopa. I don't know if we're up against Mewby Max. Uh, should we start with Hoopa or should we start with Lucario? I think starting with Lucario already pressurizes some opponents because of the fact you're going to be able to slap 220 on any V Pokemon. Urshifu. Should have started with maybe Hoop Up, but it's alright. It's definitely alright. We have Ultra Ball. We could slap some damage onto the Urshi. I'm afraid. Okay, just an attachment of the turn. Alright. What to do here? Discard a special energy from the opponent's active. That's 30 damage. That's not gonna be enough, right? We will need to utilize Hoopa in this scenario. Although 220 damage, we're gonna slap with damage. Who? I don't want to attack with Arceus, but I guess he only has one Urshi, right? If we get KO'd miraculously, we could utilize. Ha! Huh. Should we attack now? I think we really need to do the correct thing and get Arceus set up with the Dunce Bars. Yeah, Arceus. Arc, maybe we even draw into Air Balloon. Arceus, get the Hoopa on board as well. We Marnie the opponent into Oblivion. <laughs> we have Path to the Peak. Oh, no, nah, this is still scary. Because we weren't able to uh, fetch. Although he needs to come from Bench, right? And we Marnie the opponent as well. I don't know if they're playing Crobat, but just in case that they're playing Crobat, we might slap down Path to the Peak. Yeah, that's what we're working with right now. So we do run uh, Pump Kaboo in this list, so we can get rid of that Path to the Peak if we want to. We still have not been able to slap down the one and only Pump Kaboo. The opponent has 220 HP. If they whiff out on Evolving, we potentially could knock him out if we utilize the Galarian Zigzagoon strategy. Oh, I wonder why they did not use uh, a rope here and slap down the tower as well. I'm very confused, but alright. They did use research. Rapid Strike Energy. Okay. I probably would have used Rope if I were him. 100 Furious Blows. We can knock off that special energy with a DTE if we want to. Uh, Bidoof. In the house. I don't know if the Zigzagoon... I really want to know if everything is in the list, but... I'm gonna be slapping down this. Gonna be utilizing Zigzagoon Pink on here. And we're gonna be going for a Marnie. Maybe we can knock this guy out. Arcus V-Star and Air Balloon. We don't have Choice Belt, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't have Choice Belt, unfortunately. It's a little bit sad. We were also not able to find a Quick Ball. We can retreat and give him a little slap. We slap 180, still not enough, unfortunately. Still not enough. I don't know what we should do here. Should we attack? Set up the Hoopa here is probably not a bad thing. Yeah, we whiffed out on Choice Belt or any Ball Engine card. Darkness, Darkness, and Fighting. He could still G-Max Rapid Flow. But that's not gonna get a KO unless he has Choice Belt. If he evolves into a 3 prize Pokemon, we can easily take 3 prizes, which is always a great sight. This guy is damaged though, which might cause some troubles. Maybe that path to the peak early on, but I've seen lists with Urshifu uh, playing down Galarian Moltres and E-Switch combos. I didn't want that happening. I've also seen... Okay, he can slap down Baby Moltres if he wants to. Sobble. Attachment onto the other Urshi. 
100 Furious Blows, okay, this is awesome. Gonna promote the Free Retreat Lucario. What else? Another Bidoof. Too many Bidoofs and Manaphy is not around. This is scary, for sure. Retreating into the Hoopa. Should we slap down? Like, these are giving up one prize, one prize. These are two prize Pokemon. Three prizes. Yeah, maybe slapping down another Bidoof here. It's not the worst thing ever. Yeah, let's go. Knocking this guy out. He could also Yoga Loop, by the way. And that's something I'm very afraid of. I'm actually going to put three damage counters on one of these Bidoofs that we hopefully will be able to evolve. I'm afraid of Yoga Loop, though. Maybe we should have put it on the Hoopa. But then he can G-Max Rapflow two targets with Quick Shoot. I wonder. I don't see any uh, possible way for them to put more damage onto this Bidoof. But yeah, you can utilize Hoopa against Rapstrak, Urshifu, VMAX. The problem that we saw is that we were not able to find... Oh yeah, we had Quick Ball here. Did we get that from the prize cards? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, just a Strafe? All right. A Raihan is an option for sure. Mm. Can this guy get knocked out here? That is the question. We can slap down Manaphy if we want to. Quick ball, maybe getting the Manaphy up on board is probably the best thing for now. Attachment there. Shadow Impact. We have more stuff remaining. <laughs> this is still scary. The Manaphy is on board though. Okay, there's a Marnie play and a Raihan play as well. We only need to take three more prize cards. He could attack with a, a Baby Moltres. 170 with choice belt can get him there though We also weren't able to find Marnie earlier, so this might be very scary if the baby Moltres knocks us out Although we could yeah, I think this is a uh, one of those scenarios that we cannot Prevent here because we weren't able to alter the opponent's hand Maybe we should have not slapped down too many Bidoof and then we could have gone for Pumpkaboo utilize Crobat drawing more cards But Crobat also a liability against Urshifu VMAX Maybe the choice belt is priced. Although if he attacks us right now, he could yoga loop, right? Which is always a scary sight, unless we find Big Charm. Scary matchup, Urshifu sometimes. But yeah, early on we were we only like fought, saw one quick ball. That's like crazy. And also we shut ourselves down a little bit with Patrick Peak because I was thinking that he was playing the Gustava Wada build with Galarian Moltres V. Just a level ball, right? A Rapstrike Urshifu VMAX in the late game is something we will not be able to KO, unfortunately. So I would prefer top decking like Ultra Ball, so we can utilize Bibarel, draw some cards, and maybe find Boss's Orders. There's three copies of Boss's Orders in here. Okay, they are gonna go for Boss's Orders. Oh, it's a Pierce. I thought it was Boss's Orders there. Pierce is strong, man. Energy card. Oh, it's a Rapid Strike Energy. I wonder if they're going to be able to do the correct stuff here. We do have Manaphy to protect ourselves. So they would need Choice Belt. And maybe Choice Belt is prized. They could also Quick Shoot later down the line. Oh, Rapid Strike Energy onto Urshi. Two energies onto Baby Moles. All right. Just 150. That opens the door qu quite a lot, to be honest. Just dirty, strafe. Yeah, not what I wanted, to be honest. We need this for later. Maybe we... <laughs> uh, boss of the is down the drain as well. Three cards. He already has what he needs, probably. 
how to maximize our chances. Just a Marty play. Maybe attacking with something else here. Lucario V. B Barrel. Lucario V Star. We still have our V Star ability, by the way. Which allows us. We need, really need to find an energy, right? He could yoga loop this guy. So we're going to be utilizing scoop up net on it. Slapping it down again. Utilizing industries and scissors. We need to find an energy or something. Yeah, that's perfect. This is actually perfect because we can utilize the DTE to retreat. And then we could utilize the Aurora Star for the attack here. Unless, yeah, the opponent is going to get a G-Max Rap Flow and get rid of all his energy. So we, we will retreat here. Get rid of the DTE. Then next turn we can uh, use some more stuff that we don't need. We need to find bosses orders, right? Aurora Star. You don't see that every day, but it happens from time to time. 350 freaking damage. And our win out is pretty clear. Hoopa needs to knock this guy out. He could also attach and knock us, us out with... He needs to find uh, Urshifu VMAX. Oh, he has shady dealings. Bosses, orders and evolution and sense. He also needs to find an energy. We'll see what happens. This is probably the correct play I would have thought of. Okay, a rope. Why would you need rope? Hoopa can still knock out this guy. Urshifu can still knock out this guy. So, uh, Urshifu, uh, Lucario can still knock out the Urshifu. Pretty tense game. Drizzle as well. I don't know why you would need the rope here. The rope is bad. Because I'm definitely giving up on the Zigzagoon here if he ropes. Luckily, Manaphy is in, in town. Okay, Raihan. I uh, prefer Raihan over Boss's Orders, that's for sure. I don't know what his game plan is. A roping and Raihan. Manaphy's here though. A Raihan onto this guy. So they were whiffing out on the energy. They uh, opted to go for Raihan. Evolving into the VMAX, which is something I taught us already. All right. Two prize cards removed. Come on, boss's orders. B Barrel. Uh, Evolution Incense. We're gonna try and clear out some cards that we don't need anymore. We can also Crobat, by the way, but no, nah, we cannot Crobat because of Path to the Peak. Ultra Ball, this away, that away. I'm gonna get up nothing. Evolution incense, a whole lot of nothing. Come on, B Barrel, you got this. Where's the boss's orders? Yeah, putting that DTE onto nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, Ultra Ball this away. We can then find another card that we don't need. Attach an energy here. Quick ball away this. Nothing. Come on, boss's orders. 17 cards left. There we go. Double the boss. And well played. Oh yeah, we still need <laughs> we still need Pumpkaboo. No! No, it's my mistake. Should have slapped on Pumpkaboo 100 percent of the time here. Yeah. That is my bad, but even so, yeah, he can knock us out with the Moltres. That's just my bad. I mean, we've, we've thrown away our Pumpkaboo. Ah, sad, sad, sad. Okay, this is my mistake. Note to self, slap down Pumpkaboo. Otherwise, <laughs> Path to the Peak shuts down your own Hoopa. But yeah, if I've just slapped down the hoop, uh, the uh, Pumpkaboo here, we definitely would have knocked out that Urshipu. So uh, yeah, we've learned a lot in this matchup for sure, but uh, be afraid of your own path to the peak. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the first place winning list of the Joinville Regionals. Big shout out again to Pedro Pertusi. 
Go check out our sponsors, PokedownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off. There's DragonShield.com for, of course, your uh, accessories, sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. YourPlayMat.com to create your own custom playmat from scratch. Click the link down below to get 10% off. And Card Market, only for European players, where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace!